Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. Um, we're going to get into one today. There's not, we, we already did uh, videos on the three fights that are of significance. There are a couple other fights that we can get into. There's a prospect I like a lot, Charles Conwell, who I think is a future world champion. I think he's a top-notch guy at 154 pounds. We're going to get into his fight with Kiri Gray. Uh, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all from social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the little ticker below. Just $5 a month. Shout out to uh, Angelina Brooks who joined today. Uh, $5 a month gets you a lock of the week. It gets you the updated perks. Uh, it gets you updated props. It gets you all the perks. You can ask the bookie anything. Uh, request a video. I'll do it all. It's just $5 a month. Uh, so join now. Get the Lock of the Week, which will drop tomorrow. I will get you guys out the Lock of the Week. That will be tomorrow, so make sure to join now. Tomorrow, as in Thursday, August 8th. Um, so, so join that now. I'll also subscribe to the channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, all right, so let's get into the first. Let's get into the fight. Charles Conwell is a come-forward fighter, fights in a crouch. Uh, stays behind a high guard, a uh, little bit of peekaboo. I like this guy a lot. He's a he's rugged, he's tough, he's athletic, he's nimble, uh, but he's in there to bang, he's in there to hurt you, he's in there to stop you. Physically strong as a mule, good athlete. He can uh, slip and, and come forward. He commits to shots, he, he commits to every shot and throws hard. Uh, he, he's got this mauling style, but he's still athletic and nimble. He can guard and uh, he can grind it out on the inside. Really good with counter right hand. The counter right hand is, I think, absolute money. Uh, I love his counter right hand when, he, when he, he throws it like a baseball, like, more like a, like, a, like a, you know, and, and he whips it and it's accurate. It hits you on temple, the jaw. I really like that counter right hand that he throws. It's, it's it's one punch. He doesn't really disguise it or anything. He just you know. Throws it when you're out of position. It's really good. Good volume. Good combination puncher. Uh, mixes up head and body really well. He just he checks all the boxes. Attacks the body. He's an excellent body puncher. Uh, you can't open up on him. Because if he does, you get countered. He's really good at punching in between your punches. You really can't let combinations go. Because he will counter you and he will hurt you. Like, it, it, it's a lot to deal with. He's a little... He's got good skills on the inside. Nice uppercuts, nice clean shots on the inside. Of course, good, you know, excellent torque on his shots. But he, he stays there too much sometimes. Um, w- Want to see him more, more mobile. Want to see him move a little bit more, use the ring, because he's got legs. He just doesn't really use them. Terrific counterpunch, I like. I said, a- accurate, accurate, accurate power shots from long range. He's an aggressive little pit bull uh, on the inside. With serious power, he's like a violent boxer. Like, he's violent. Yeah, it's the only really word I can use to describe his style. You know, he's a, he's a violent swarmer that comes forward and makes you miss and makes you pay if you try to do too much. I think he's a, a world-class fighter. I think he is, you know, I've been saying this for years. I think he's one of the best young prospects in the sport. I think he should have been in, in a world title fight already. I think extremely highly of Charles Conwell. Kiri Gray, his opponent. It's an opponent. It's what he is. He has no chance of winning this fight. He looks to survive. I don't even think he's going to really try to win the fight. And I don't mean to say that. This is a complete mismatch. This is a tuna can. He's made a career of surviving. He fought Greg Vendetti tough seven years ago, and that was kind of what he's built his name on. Good skills, I guess. Good, Good fundamental skills. Pretty, pretty decent fundamentally. It's really all you can say. Like he knows how to fight. Um, you know, doesn't have great speed. Has no power. Doesn't commit to his shots. Doesn't sit down in shots. Doesn't throw hard. Doesn't really throw much combination. He's not super fast. He's not super slip slippery. He's not a great defensive fighter. It's just he he's decent, right? Like you look at this guy. He probably had a pretty decent amateur career. You know, he can score, he can jab a little bit, he can move, he can use the ring. He's got a little bit of a ring IQ. Like I said, he can survive. I, I you know, I, I don't think he can keep Conwell off him at any point in the fight. 
decent counter puncher. He's got pretty good timing, uh, but it's a lot one at a time. It's one at a time. Just not anything that stands out. There's nothing that he does that that really stands out. Like I said, he's, there's no there's no power at all. He's not super fast. He's not super athletic or twitchy. He doesn't have great movement or great feet. He doesn't throw high volume. He doesn't have any really one punch that stands out. He's a pure boxer with, with nothing special. And I, I don't mean to be disparaging, but he looks kind of like in a British fighter who, like, okay, he, he's won a bunch of fights, you know, and, and then he steps up and he fights somebody good and he gets destroyed. That's kind of how I see Kiri Gray. So I, I think Conwell stops him. I want to look at the props on this. I want to look at the props on this. Unfortunately, uh, when I checked this morning, and we'll check again now, they had no props on this. So before I did the tape, they had no props. Let's see if they've edited any props. They all drop at once. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Fortunately, there's still no props on this. So when you guys come back, I, I want to take Conwell by stoppage. They don't have it. I'm sure at some point they will add it. But just on the money line, add this to your parlay. Uh, I want you to add Conwell by stoppage to your parlay. That's how confident I am in, in, in the stoppage. But you can bet this as big as you want. A 2-0 bet makes you five seventy one cents. That's not what we're here for, obviously. We're here to add this to your parlay. Bring your odds down a little bit. And when the props do drop, join the Patreon. Go over to the Patreon. We're going to say, do we take the under? Do we take the stoppage? Do we, what do we take? And I'll show you how to – the most educated prop to bet on. So join the Patreon. It's $5 a month. Uh, obviously, you'll make that and and, and some um, when you when you join the dis uh, when you join the Patreon, it's five dollars a month. So let's get the best prop on that because this right here is not really going to help you out. Uh, Two hundred dollar bet to make you five dollars. It's it's not, you know, that's not a lot. You know, he's basically a thirty-five to one favorite, and 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 he should be. You know, the, these odds are, are correct. Uh, but you can you know use this to help bring down your parlay a little bit. It's not going to bring down your parlay a ton, but it's easy money. Charles Conwell. And then when when the, the props come out. Uh, I really like Charles Conwell to stop him. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, uh, 3D Boxing blog, or all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Um, so join the Patreon. $5 a month. It's August 8th, 2024. From Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay.